Hey there, today I'm going to show you how I made this spinner thanks card. For more information, head over to my blog craftyepicurean.com. So the supplies I'll be using today are this blended background I made using some blender brushes, these elephant die cuts which I found in my crafty stash, a circle die cut and this thanks die cut. I'm going to be die cutting out of black and white cardstock. So I've die cut that thanks three times twice out of black cardstock and once out of white cardstock and now I'm just going to glue them together and stack them in a set of three. I'm just using my glue pen which I bought off AliExpress and I'll link to a review that I did on these um, on those glue pens up in the top right hand corner. So here you see I am gluing two of the black die cuts of each letter together and then placing one white one. The inspiration for this card also came from Christina Werner's 2020 mail call for the month of December which asked for a thank you card and I was privileged enough for her to mention this card in her mail call video and I'll put a link down below to that video. So here's all those thanks all stacked and glued together. I'm bringing in the blended card and I've also got white cardstock. I'm just going to tape them together with a little bit of washi tape. And then I'm going to place uh, the circle die cut down where I want the spinner element to have the window. So this is going to cut a window for the spinner element to spin inside. And I'm just going to go away and die cut both those pieces of card with that circle die cut to create the window. Now unfortunately I ripped that front note card when I removed the washi tape but I'll show you later how I disguise and fix that mistake. So just placing the elephant die cuts inside the window and I'm putting two pieces of string to make it um, sturdy. I wasn't quite happy with the edging and the outline of the die cuts so I'm using a black sharpie just to colour in the, the white edging to make the outline a bit more defined on those elephant die cut images. You can use any type of pen, you could use a black alcohol marker or a black felt tip pen. I just like to use a sharpie because it's nice and permanent and I don't have to press too hard to get a good outline on that outside of the die cut. Right, now I'm going to put some double sided tape down to hold the string in place which is going to be used for spinning the element. I put double sided tape on the underside as well as on top of the string to make sure that it stays in place and I use two pieces of string to make sure it's really sturdy and can hold the spinner element. Um, the type of string I'm using is just some scrap embroidery um, cotton that I had in my crafty stash. So as you can see I made it longer or much longer than the window and I'm just placing that double sided tape on top to help, help secure it and I'm also going to put some double sided tape to hold the tails down. Now I'm placing double sided tape on the back sides of the die cut and I'll do that to both and now I've removed the release paper and it's going to place the string on top of the double sided tape on the die cut and gently press down. Now for the other side to make sure that cut die cut is well that spinner element is stuck down really well I'm using my glue pen to put glue where I couldn't put double sided tape. Now I'm going to release the 
release paper on the double sided tape on the other side of the die cut and then gently place it down and matching the edges with the one I've already placed. Now this particular die cut is the front and back of the image which is perfect for a spinner card but you can use the same image if you wish if they're symmetrical. Now I'm lining up the front note card which is the blended background with the circle window cut out. I've just used double sided tape to hold that down. Using the negative space of the die cut to position where I'm going to glue my thanks, the letters for thanks on this card. And that's just to make sure that the spacing is correct and that it is straight. And again, I'm just going to use my glue pen to stick those letters down. I am going to speed it up in a minute. And when I place it, I always, I always give the negative a little bit of a jiggle to make sure it's inside the right part of the hole. So once they're all spaced, I just carefully keep my fingers down on the letters that I want to keep on the card and then gently lift the negative cutout or die cut, negative space of the die cut to remove it from the card, leaving the letters behind nicely spaced and straight. So I didn't completely line up the white card stock A6 with the front note card so I'm just using my um, guillotine to trim off the excess edges. And I'm going to use um, a sentiment from the stamp set. I've decided to use for everything so the card reads thanks for everything. And to stamp that I was going to use my stamping platform which is a We Are Memory Keepers precision press but then I decided it would probably be easier to just use an acrylic block. So I'm just placing the For Everything sentiment stamp on an acrylic block. I'm going to stamp it using Ranger Archival Ink in Jet Black. So just stamping it once underneath the thanks die cuts or stacked die cuts and the front note card is pretty much finished and I'm just lining up putting it on to a white um, card base and lining up the circle cut out so that I can cut out the circle in um, the correct position out of the card base I'm just going to go ahead, or go away now, and die cut that out. So here it is all die cut out. I'll remove the die. And then using some double sided tape, I'm going to position and adhere down the front note card onto the card base, making sure to line up the circle so that the spinner element easily spins inside the window. So I'm just going to speed this up again. All I'm doing is placing the double sided tape so that I can adhere the front note card to the card base. So yeah, I'm unfolding the card base so that it makes it a little bit easier to line up the windows. Press it down. Then I've gone ahead and I've trimmed the edges so that um, the card base is the same size as the front note card. And here I am just grabbing some die cuts I found in my crafty stash to see if I can disguise those ripped mistakes from the washi tape. But after a bit of playing around I decide that I'm not going to use the die cuts and instead I'm going to use this sparkly washi tape that I have in my stash. 
and I felt that went well with the card. Um, to make sure that washi tape sticks down I just used a little bit of um, craft glue on the back um, when I stuck it down. Um, I used some scissors to trim off the edge on the outside edge of the card that's the to trim off the excess of the washi tape and here I'm using a craft knife to cut off the excess inside the spinner window. I'm just making sure that's adhered down correctly. To make it look complete I do a matching line of that black sparkly washi tape on the other side and then I repeat and do the same on this some gold sparkly washi tape and that covers up the ripped mistake which um, some other washi tape created so it's washi tape fixing washi tape and that's how I made this thanks spinner card with an elephant spinner and a blended background for more information head over to my blog craftyepicurean.com and thanks for watching Thank you.